Hey, your Shalom is real. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shot, by Hashem Rakak Kadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And I just want to get into a quick lesson based off of a, a point, you know, something I thought about at work today is that how you know we're going to receive the kingdom is because we definitely received the curses. All right. And now you see it right here on the screen. All right. Um, a coin. You know, I think this looks like a quarter where you have one side is tails, one side is heads. All right. And right now we are experiencing the side of tails, man, to where we are at the bottom. All right. Like the scriptures say, um, I have, let me just grab it real quick because it's a part of the curses. Like it says right here, Deuteronomy 28 and 23. Hold on, hold on one second. So I believe it's actually a scripture that goes straight into the point I just made of how we should be the tail. Oh, man, I'll just, I'll just read right past it. So this is Deuteronomy 28 and 44. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to read at 2015, all right, because we always get into this because this, you know, for those, whether you believe it or not, this Deuteronomy 28 represents our life, man. All right, and now we on the bottom part of Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down, all right? And um, because, like I said, this... These curses encompass our life, like it says, man. They shall pursue thee and shall I, until thou be overtaken. You know? These curses is like a bad habit that no matter where we go, all right, you will be catching hell. The brother, uh, GMS Chief Cornerstone, he just did a video um, about how the Ar Armenians are catching hell, man. You know? Because those, those are Israelites, man. All right? Uh, in the scriptures, he was going into how... Those were just Jews from Antioch, which are in Turkey, man. Modern day Turkey, but their modern day name is uh, uh, Armenians. All right. But nonetheless, no matter where we go, we're going to catch hell, man. All right. Because, like it says, Deuteronomy 28 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. You know, Jake, you know, it could be in the hood or whatever. Jake stores always getting shot up, always getting robbed. You know, you just go to, uh, you look in the Jake neighborhood, predominantly Jake neighborhood. You know, there's barely no trees. You know what I'm saying? The grass, if there is any grass, you know, is dead. Because that's Jake's living, uh, uh, you know, society to where vice versa, if you go to Esau's, the so-called white men, which Jake represents you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and Esau, the so-called white man, all right, you go to his neighborhood, man, trees are huge, big, you know, he got two, three acres of land, four car garage, you know, to where Jake is packed on top of each other like sardines, all right, so now jumping down to 28 and 44, you know what? I'm going to read, uh, let me see, 28 and 23. Just reading a few, uh, you know, curses. Deuteronomy 28, 23. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Basically saying that no matter what you do, you know, you have a limit. You know, it's a cap size, man. To where, like, say, you might have a Jake that might have a good job, but best believe... A Edomite is over him. You know, he's not the head man in charge. You know how Jake like to say the HNIC? He's not the HNIC. Okay. And at his position, he has to work. Even at, at that position, he has to do even more work than the guy that's over him, man. Okay. Jumping down to Deuteronomy 28 and 44. Going into this lesson. 
he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. And what does scripture say? The servant's borrower is the borrower a servant to the lender. So guess what? We are slaves in this place. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Alright, Esau's lending to us a driver's license. He's lending to us a house. You know, that's why Jay gotta pay mortgage and insurance and registration. Because he owns this place. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. So we're on the back side of the coin, man. Alright? We're on the back side of that coin, man. And Yahweh Shimei Yahweh he prophesied of this. Alright? Like it says in um, Isaiah chapter 55. Damn, I'm trying to, well, the scriptures say that, um, the Lord said, that, uh, basically he sent it off the word and it cometh not back to him void. I can't remember. Let me see. I'm going to just look it up. Oh, 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Now, the Lord told us beforehand that if we go off, if we serve of the gods, that we, you know, go away astray. From Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we will be in the curses, under the curses. And we definitely are. But now, on the flip side of that, the Lord also said that he's going to take us out of captivity. Okay? When you go to Deuteronomy 28, which, you know, that just goes to show you. Let me see. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So on the flip side of the coin, the head side, which the Lord said that we would be, if we, you know, follow all the laws, statutes, and commandments, which we will in the kingdom, because the Lord said real quick, I want to come back to this. You know, but a part of the new covenant, all right, or the new promise that the Lord promised us, like it says right here, uh, Hebrews chapter, eight verse nine, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this. Oh, it's locked it. Eight and eight. I'm going to start at eight. So lock y'all can. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. The house of Israel are you so-called Native Americans and Hispanics. And the house of Judah are you so-called um, blacks, um, Haitians and West Indians, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, but the, because they continue not in my covenant and I regarded them not, saith Yahweh. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. After what days? After the Lord comes back, man. All right, after the days of our captivity. All right. Saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach everyone, every man, his neighbor and every man, his brother, saying, know the Lord for it shall for all shall know me 
from the least to the greatest. For I will remember to their, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities. Will I remember no more? Okay. So the Lord is not going to remember the fact that we went off. He's going to, you know, basically give us a, a clean sleep. You know, he's going to renew his name within us. So therefore, and that's the case. All right. At that case, we're going to um, be on the head side of the coin. Like I said, when you read Deuteronomy 28 and I'm going to just read through the blessings, man. So it says, reading again at the top, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. It shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, which we will, because, all right, knowing and listening to the Lord is going to be like second nature, man. It's going to be like breathing, you know, blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall thou be in the field. Okay. Blessed shall thou be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground, you know? So instead of right now, how we have, you know, you got a little, uh, you know, two foot, uh, uh lawn. You're going to have a vineyard, man. All right. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. Instead of gout and diabetes, we're going to live for, uh, for uh, a lifetime, man. We're going to live a full lifetime, man. You know, I says like Methuselah lived 900 and some years. That's going to be us, man. And the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of the increase of thy kin and the flocks of thy sheep. All right. And that's what makes us rich. So right now we we live in paycheck to paycheck. We're going to be rich in the kingdom. All right. We're going to be wealthy, man. We're going to be. Hey, man, we're going to be wealthy, man. Having they say in this in this kingdom, having land makes you wealthy. Well, we're going to have planets. Like I was saying, uh, was that John, the 14th chapter. Blessed shall be thy basket in thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Yahweh shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and they shall flee before thee seven ways. You know, and that's power. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thy hand into. And he shall bless thee in the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee. You know? And the land is going to once again be fruitful, man. Like in the movie Avatar, you had trees that was like, that's a tree was like four or five hundred feet. The animals were huger. The people themselves were huger, man, were bigger. You know, so we're going to be blessed beyond our wildest dreams. All right. And the point of this uh, lesson that is that, you know, we're going through the curses and it was written a four time. Therefore, we are going through them. But it was also written a full time that we will receive the blessings. All right. So, hey, we got a lot to look forward to. You know, we, go, we under the curses or whatever. But, hey, like scriptures say, our captivity is, 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 is it's accomplished, man. It's, we almost done, you know. The Lord is, is uh, you know, going to look upon us, man. It says, comfort ye, comfort ye my people, Isaiah 40 and 1, saith your power. Speak ye comfortably. To Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is another word for Israel and uh, Judah, you know, which means Jerusalem, which is city of peace, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. All right, that her warfare is accomplished. She will, you know, have no more uh, rebelled against the Heavenly Father, therefore, her warfare is accomplished. Okay, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she have received the Lord's hands double for all her sins. Okay. And um, I'm going to just read down because the point is in verse uh, 5. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye to wave the Lord, make straight 
Make straight in the desert a highway for our power. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. Every valley being on the bottom, which the valley represents a low land, which we're to tell. And every mountain, which lifted up, which is on the top, shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of Yahweh shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it again, for the mouth of Yahweh have spoken it. So with that, Lord willing you, I can were encouraged. Lord willing you, I can were edified. Shalom to the elect.